Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're exploring the underground Einzel River. We have started from here, we've been over here, and we've been here. So we have all of this to explore. Let's start by first taking a right up here at the first turn. And I think we're going to hit a dead end because on the map this looks kind of like a, a waterfall. And I think this is the bottom end of it. But let's go see. bug oh oh thank you edge no east ahead oh okay so yeah we have to go back down here and up this way if we want to get in here I thought I could just head through here, but I actually can't, because there is actually way, way, way up there. I can't reach there from this, this chamber, which means we have to go down this way. Ooh, Sight of Grace. Weak foe ahead. Bug. Time for stealth. That's a lot of bugs. I don't think I need stealth, though. Bring it on. Horn charm raises immunity. An accoutrement worn by the ancestral followers. Ah, it says raises immunity and thankfully explains what that actually means. Immunity governs resistance to poison and rot. Said to be a budding horn. Oh, the budding horn thing is the same description as the modeled necklace. I do appreciate that it's a different shape from this one. It's not just like a recolored one. Everyone is unique. Hmm, that goes off the map. Be wary of death. Ah. Uh. I'm a little scared about that. Oh. Oh! The... are they called basilisks? Oh, their tails look different than I remember them being. Look at that. Yeah, they look a bit different. They're not quite as cute as they were before. With the gigantic fake eyes. I know those aren't your real ones. Oh, you can't see them when I zoom in and then the light disappears. There, can you see the real eye just above their, like, super sharp teeth. They're real, real tiny. Those little dots.
soap? It's a tool. Removes filth and accumulations on the body. Wait a minute. Could this be how I make my hands smooth? For the, uh, for the little jar boy? Plant-based soap made from mushroom juice. Cleans off filth and other accumulations on the body while also slightly reducing poison buildup. Filth covering the exterior eventually seeps inside, soiling one's very spirit. Mushroom juice soap. Huh. Looks... Moldy. Whoa. Aeonian butterfly. A butterfly with withered scarlet wings found in the swamps of Aeonia. According to myth, these butterflies were once the wings of the goddess of rot herself. Try down. Um, the blood stains suggest I shouldn't. I guess this is a little peak of an area that we'll be able to go to eventually. Probably. Can't wait to meet the goddess of rot herself. Melted mushroom? That must be one of the ingredients for the soap. Time for mushroom. How did it get melted, though? Is that like how the enemies here have melted? Does that mean they're made of mushrooms? Is that why they look so strange? A mushroom that grows in the false night in and around the Eternal City. It drips with a viscous fluid that behaves much like oil. I think that's what the creatures are made out of. Boss ahead, be wary of dragon. Oh. We're about to enter a very large chamber. Be wary of boss. Try legs. Don't give up, stay calm. Dragon ahead. Are they a dragon, or is a dragon going to come swooping down? Look at all these figures frozen in... Frozen in warship, I guess. Or maybe frozen in pain and they've been killed? I don't know. So many different sized ones as well.
Hello. Dragonkin soldier of Noxtella. Oh, you are cool. You have a lot of teeth. Health bar isn't that big. Oh, they're cool looking. Ah. Ooh, they got wings now. Ooh. Please don't have a second phase. Oh, thank God. Frozen lightning spear. Whew. That wasn't a very hard boss, but damn was it cool. That was so cool. Legs. Praise the victory. Be wary of mimicry. That's not a mimic. Unfortunately, I don't really have a use for that, since I don't summon ashes. Uh, before anything else, let's get the Sight of Grace, I think I saw over here. Oh yeah, let's check, check out that spell too. Frozen lightning spear stabs with ice lightning spear from above. Oh, it uses faith, not int. Dang, it's an incantation. The map makes this look like kind of a wide area, but I think there's only one way for us to go. That's down here, assuming we can actually go here. Uh, no, that doesn't look like a place we can go. Oh, there's a side of grace down there. Yeah, we actually can't explore any more in the Ainsel River. I think we have to find another entrance to a different part. From the surface. Let's explore behind this well. What? What am I hearing? Oh. Oh. They're like a cat who once let in. <laughs> Take that so I get some health over time. God, my weapon is so powerful. So powerful. Beast blood and gold shit. I do wonder, the fact that it was scratching there, do you think there's like a secret? Oh, 
W whoa, huh? Okay, that's gonna take forever. There's another bear over there just sleeping. Necessary item ahead. Ooh. I'll go for this bear just in case it, I don't know, drop something special. Sorry, bear. Just beast blood. But beast blood is pretty rare. I'm gonna head back. Wait, what the hell? I just headed back to the round table hold and there is Ensha of the Royal Remains here? This place is supposed to be safe. Whoa! That was scary. Wait, isn't Encha the guy that was always just, like, relaxing and would never talk to me? It's going to be normal now. Clinging bone. Yeah, it looks like it is normal now. Whew. Wonder if someone can tell me what the hell just happened. Oh, there's the bone. Takes dex and arcane. Interesting. Fist slash slash <laughs> slash slash pierce. Lifesteal fist is its special move. Horrific weapon made of a hardened skeletal arm wielded by Ensha of the Royal Remains. Fitted by placing one's hands into the fist's grips until they dig in. O clinging creature, a king relinquishes, not the hand. I'm not really sure what that means. That is so cool though. That the fist grips you. That's how you wield it. I, I want to see what this thing looks like on me. Oh. Oh, I see. Now I see why it's a piercing weapon. Yeah, the end of the bone is just sharp. It's even got some blood on the tip. And I think it's meant to be dual wielded? Uh, can I not dual wield it? I think I can't dual wield it, maybe because you're not allowed combat in here. I can't even attack. So I'll try this out in some other place. I just took a look at the Carrion Glint Blade staff. I looked at it on the wiki to see how much the sorcery scaling would be if it was plus 11, like my current staff. 
and it would actually be lower than my current staff. So there's not really a point in using it unless I used tons of glint blade sorcery, which, oh, I should explain. I learned that glint blade sorcery does not include the shard that I use as my normal damage dealing thing, actually. It's, well, I don't know. I guess it probably only includes the spells that literally say glint blade in the name. Probably, such as magic glint blade. And it did increase the damage significantly. I would estimate maybe about 10%. But that's just not a spell that I use all that often. So I don't think it's worth it. I think I just accidentally upgraded the Knight Rider flail by mashing A. But I wanted to do it anyway, so that's fine. Because it's been lagging behind. The staff has been a plus 11, but this has been a plus 8 for a while. Yeah, let's do it some more. Um, oh, when you upgrade it, it also makes it do more frost buildup as well, from 80 to 81. And then the next one, it'll be 83 frost. Interesting that the blood loss is not increasing, but the frost is. I wonder why. Not that I have any cause to complain, it's already so freaking powerful. Oh, this is where Ensha was. Now there's just an item. Ooh! Their armor set! I love that their name is the Royal Remains. Because they're literally remains. They're a skeleton. So will you tell me something about Ensha? Journey to the capital. Let two fingers will deny. You may be out. No, no one wants to talk about it. Oh wait, no, no, hold on. That was the first option. You may be. About Ensha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Let's look at the moveset of the Clinging Bone. Oh yeah, two-handed. Yeah. Oh, this could be such a cool weapon. Such a weird weapon. So that's the fast attack. Strong attack. And the special. Ooh. Is that the lifesteal? So cool. Let's also see if the soap is what we need to have smooth hands. Do any of these say anything new about like what to do? Friendly, yep, lovable sort, they are. So what was the complaint again? for you cuz hmm? have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them and they said you'd be very welcome oh that's good cuz I've already been picking all of them <laughs> sorry go on cuz you really should pick some of our flowers who knows they might be of some use okay soap <laughs> if only showering was like that. Go on, Who knows? Apparently that's not it. That or you only have one chance and I blew it. So we've been all down here. Let's explore up here. Ooh. Am I seeing fire slugs? And look, over here we have a tiny budding god. That's one of those weird head things. One of those like sorcerer made, I think. Spews fire. Operated by someone in the back. Oh, wait, what was that? Briars of Sin. Is that a spell? 
It is Faith Spell. Summons thorns from a whorl of own blood. Own blood? Does that imply it hurts you? Also, it's a sorcery, but it uses faith. You can be a sorcerer and use faith. I thought only incantations used faith. Yeah, like none, none of these use faith. That's the only one. That's a sorcery that uses faith. Interesting. haven't noticed me? How have you not noticed me? Oh no, no, breathing fire on the fire master is not a good idea. Flame cleanse me. I'm sure that probably takes faith as well. And that one, that one is not a sorcery. It's an incantation, as you'd expect. It takes 12 faith. Which is actually a really low requirement. I'm probably not that far off if I wanted to use it. But I would need a chime as well. It'd be really annoying. Is the gorgeous view. Not trying to turn torrent around. Just get off and turn around and then get on. Not risking it. So we've already been to that church, Church of Vows, with the Turtle God. There could be something up there, though. I haven't explored around the church. I 
They just had a bunch of fruit on them. Oh, Noble's S-Dock. Actually looks quite pretty. Thrusting sword. Very modest requirements. Nine strength, ten dex. S-Dock carried by wandering nobles. Made to be easy to wield. Dabbed with gold from tip to tail. It should fetch a good sum. Hmm. Sounds like it's really quite bad. Like it's more something just to be sold. Just made for looks. Whoa. Come on. Okay. Forget this. Scared of the skulls. Another one of you. Oh, my God. The fuck? Where did that come from? Well, that's as close to death as I want to get today. Is that a new type of enemy? I think so. Dwelling arrow. So much damage. Be wary of sniper. Okay. 
Probably just talk about the one who's already shot me, but... Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of snipers. Oh no, oh no. Oh, holy shit. Okay, off the horse. Defensible spot, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw a side of grace over there. By the way, Grace ahead. Thank you. Ha. Ah. Oh, I can level up. I've been doing intelligence for quite a while. Should I focus on something else? Maybe Dex? FP is always good. Health is always good. Let's get more health. Time for head. <laughs> well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore this area here around this minor herd tree. <laughs>